Hello, hello everybody, it's 34th PFC Rob here. I'm going to be playing a bit of Crusader Kings 2 today because, you know, I haven't played this game in ages and I just thought, while I'm doing it, I might as well do a let's play of it. Uh, I'm going to warn you beforehand, I'm not very good at these sort of games, but uh, I'm going to go ahead anyway and press play, so... Okay. So we're going to start in 1066 here because, well, why not? And uh, I know enough about these buttons so we can change from to independent realms. So we can look at all the countries in their glory. But, um, counts, dukes, kings, okay, okay, we'll get the point. Now, I feel like playing a bit of an Eastern Europe Empire today. So I might either start as, say, something like Pomerania, or Poland, or something like that. In fact, uh, I haven't played Pomerania before. So, uh... I'll play as their high chief, so I mean, we're not allowed to play that apparently, according to this. I haven't. Had, I've only just got the base game, so if any of you like raging, you know, you need to get the republic or something like that. I may do in time, but for now it's just gonna be the base game. So uh, no, no pagans allowed. See, I don't like that. Um, yeah, let's go Poland. We'll play Poland, shall we? Okay, let's go. Okay, and we're right in here. So, we've got our leader here, King Bolslaw the Bold, King of Poland, heir to the Duchy of Mazovia. And, uh, I believe this is our capital here due to the size of the shield. So, we've got Krakow. Or is it Krakow? I don't know, someone, someone get back to me in the like, comments. Okay, so straight away up here, we've got us pick an ambition. And I think I'm going to put have a sun, because that's usually pretty easy, I know, for these games, and it'll, it'll provide me with a few extra benefits, so basically no work at all. De jure claims. Okay, so I can attack Grodno. Now, I've actually played as Poland before, and I know that if I attack Grodno, the entirety of Kiev is going to attack me. And, um,. I don't think that went very well for me last time. So what I'm going to try and do is take some of these countries around here and basically take the Danzig Corridor like like was given in the Treaty of Versailles. So give me access to the sea and um, eventually expand out to the north hopefully. So um, let's get right in. So we've got our council here with our Chancellor and we're going to get him fabricating some claims. I think I'm going to start from Galindia. But first, we should probably see, you know, who they're allied to. Okay. I'm not too sure how to find that out, but... They don't look very powerful, that, that's all, so... We're gonna go fabricate some claims on there. While we get our marshal training some troops in Krakow. And collecting taxes. And I think we're gonna scheme... Oh, can't we scheme? We're going to build a sky, uh, spy network sorry, in Kiev. So eventually, when we do want to press de jure claims on Grodno, you know, we have some a better basis to do it on. We have some more intel. And then um, we're going to be... Uh, we're going to be researching some cultural tech, perhaps? Down here. Okay. So laws here. Crown authority. Now, that is that is not a good thing to have, minimum crown authority, in my opinion. So um, straight away I'm going to try and get this in here, okay, so my vassal opinion's going to go down, but we don't really care about them, do we? Now, what we've got here is our tech, and I'm going to, I think bows is alright, but I think we should probably work on some infantry and melee weapons. So, probably... Some some construction because we're almost there on the top, so you could get a, a star in construction. We can build some cool stuff, and uh, I think we're going to go for we're going to go for noble customs. We're going to keep it at that. These are only for demands. So okay, there we go. Military. We've got quite a strong military, as you can see. So just from my demands of what I hold. I'm getting 983 troops, well 900 troops, sorry, out of a possible 983. And um, 
1,067, which equals 1,967, because I, I learned maths, so I can add those together. And that's a pretty formidable force, certainly enough to take out Galindia, and uh, start building ourselves a big empire. Obviously no fleet, and my purpose will be to get a fleet eventually. But, um, intrigue. We're not going to really bother with that at the moment. Okay, so with everything set up, I'm going to switch to play now, and we should be able to get this going. Let's see about the state of my uh, my family here. So we've got Prince Vladislaw of Poland, and he has no wife, and that's a disaster. And it's what? Oh wait, no one. Okay, that's that's brilliant. Levy reinforcement rate, fifty percent, amazing. And we've got a tithe there of thirteen gold. That's going to be very look rich already. So the elective succession. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna get him to policy. We're going to arrange a marriage. No 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 no. We want him to be married. How do we do this again? Is it betrothal? Oh, as I said, guys, you know. Oh, he has a wife. That's strange. Where was she before? I'm not too sure about that. Okay. Obviously he has a wife, guys, so we don't need to worry about that. So everyone seems to be married and fine. So we're just going to carry on like this for a while. And um, see what we can get up to. Now eventually, um, Kiev will be taken eventually. That will be my first big country to come under my control. Because we've already got a Dezir claim on... Uh, Grandno here, so that'll give us a good footing here. But um, I seem to remember last time them having some help from Lithuania. I'm not sure if that's because of some alliance they'd made or what have you, but it was pretty damn annoying. I, I was boxed in on two sides, and that's as we know in war, that's never a good thing. But um, we should be uh, building our spy network there, and um, uh, basically, oh, what's going on here? They're building, they're building up their army for something. Now, what's going on with flags? Why no one's flag seems to be appearing? I'll have to look into that. Maybe it's just a one-off thing. We can only hope. But it's it's not a massive problem. But you see, like, geez, look at that army. Oh, that's that is Lithuania. Oh, they're at war with Lithuania. Okay. This may be good because if Lithuania can take Grodno. I can press the Geo claim still on that country, hopefully. And um, Lithuania is a much smaller country than Kiev, and their army is a much smaller as well. So they should be easier than um, than Kiev, which will be nice. A band of rogues, and they've taken our money. Our brave king, Bolasol the Bold, not so bold after all. He's had his money robbed off of him. And that's uh, that's never good. We've got a we've got a battle going on over here. Letter galleons. Okay, they're just gonna walk into Lithuania, which I suppose is cool. But, um, I understand I'm not very good at this game, so you're gonna see quite a few mistakes. Uh, you're gonna see quite a few fuck ups, to be more precise. But um, I hope that doesn't dissuade you from watching because it should be a lot of fun. And um, I'm going to play until either I've accomplished all my aims, which is I want to take I want to take this eastern block here, so from the Holy Roman Empire to the beginnings of modern day Russia, and also Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, and up here essentially. So I want my empire to expand around here, or until indeed Poland is wiped out to the last man, which is probably more probable. And we've just got soldiers marching through our land, you know, they don't give a crap. Who needs military access, right? So, um, comment down below what you'd like to see me do in the series, or any mistakes I'm making, because that'd be really appreciated. But, um, essentially, 
Well, essentially, yeah, just give me advice because I'm not going to be recording these episodes in too great a quantity at a time, so you should have time to get in and offer your suggestion. And we've got a daughter born here, and I think I'm going to name her just a... let's just call her... I don't know. What should we call her, guys? I'm going to call her... I'm going to call her Mary. There we go. That's my imagination for you there. So there we go. Mary. Mary. Okay, so my courtiers fear me. They fear my outburst of anger whenever they disobey and disappoint me. Although they seldom do, so I get the trait vicious, which gives me plus one martial. And you'd think it would give you some negatives, but obviously not. So let's look at our character, actually. So we're King Bolsor II, the bold of Poland. We're 26 years old. We're married to Queen Wesleyslaw. Okay, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. It's nothing against Poland or your names. I just cannot pronounce that for the life of me, so I'm going to leave that. So he's a skilled tactician, which is always good. So he's got plus six martial, plus one intrigue, plus one stewardship, minus one learning, and plus 0 0.5 health. So he's strong, diligent. He's got he's got some anger there, wrath, charitable, brave, and he's got a combat modifier. And he's vicious, which only lasts for a short time. Okay, and there's our there's our dedication to construction. Now we've increased it by one. Now that says in Opal, so m I must have been doing not nationwide, but um, demense wide. So let's see if we can, if it still carries on. So we're on round now. Yeah, we're still we're still measuring construction here. It's just not going as fast. Let's look at our vassals here. So we've got. But I saw Piast, we got we got a lot of dukes. And mostly my vassals are happy with me, except this guy right here. And um, we I'm you know, I'm gonna try and keep my vassals happy, so I'm gonna award him an honorary title. I'm gonna give him the court jester because minus ten. No, he doesn't want to be a court jester. He doesn't want to dance in front of me with some juggling balls. You know. I'll give him keeper of the swans because that's what he deserves really. To keep my to keep my swans. Okay, so once I have my claim on Galindia, I will be going straight in there, hitting them with military and occupying it, and then I will be moving on to Pomerania and the such until I have expanded my borders to the sea, and that will be the first part, and then or and then I'll turn my attention to Kiev, or maybe actually Lithuania first, and these sort of places, because they are probably easier in the long run. And in the short run, indeed, as well. A rather netizen neighbour keeps sending me envoys begging for money or demanding tribute. I feel rather confused about his arbitrary ways and I'm not sure what I should do. I can either send him some roses, uh, prestige or piety. Now my prestige isn't bad, and my piety... Where is it? Where's my piety? That's going up in a shorter way, and I'm, I'm going to play as quite a religious king, you know. Get on the side of the Pope and all, so... I'm going to send in these roses, and there we go, my piety's gone up, and that's always good. If we look at the situation across the globe at the moment, oh, Norway has succeeded in their attack on Britain and have now uh, annexed it. They've annexed England here. Now, that's going to be tricky because if you remember me saying, I said I'd like to capture Norway, and it seems I will now have to capture England. Unless something changes, I will now have to capture England to actually get into Norway and defeat them to the last man. So that's something to think about. And um, so yeah, we may have to, we either build up our navy and go for a naval invasion or we indeed move across Europe to the west and attack from there. And as you saw there, my wife is pregnant again. You know, she just can't keep her hands off me. But, um, I think we're going to call it a day there, guys. We've made s little progress, I know. But, um, I was really just introducing the nation I was going to play this time and uh, setting the background for what I wanted to achieve, really. So, um, this has been part one. Let's play Crusader Kings 2, Poland. And, uh, I'll see you next time.